The first time I went to a convention, I actually had no idea that that was a thing that people did. It kind of threw me for a loop that I showed up in costume and then suddenly people wanted to take my photo and I and that's that's kind of how the addiction started. People ask, you know, how long I've been cosplaying, how long does it take to make a cosplay, all these kind of things, but everything is very different. It's all based on person to person. It depends how many hours a day are you working on a cosplay. Someone would say, oh, it took me seven months, but maybe they only worked on it once a week for an hour. You know, or maybe someone's more experienced. First people do it, oh, I'm going to Comic-Con, I'll put on a costume, kind of like, they're just gonna join in the crowd. And then it turns into, oh wait, I can go to the children's hospital and I can meet with these kids and hang out with them and play with them and talk to them dressed as a superhero. Wait, Make-A-Wish Foundation wants me to come down and work with them so this little kid gets to be Batman? And it turns into a drive to make your community better. There are actually two worlds in this hobby. There is the world at the convention and there is the world online, which they are absolutely entirely different. Building an online following, building a page, getting followers, and trying to monetize this in some way or get more opportunities, that is an entirely different skill set than, you know, sewing, working with wood. Two very famous cosplayers, there's Yaya Han and Jessica Negri. So Yaya Han's brand is, she is a master craftsman, one of, if not the best seamstress I've ever seen. Whereas Jessica Negri, at the beginning at least, her brand was more about modeling. She has definitely stepped up the armor game and she is fantastic on the craftsmanship side as well. But she grew into that, she changed her brand. Like, I know I'm never gonna get that kind of following, just because um, I'm not a pretty woman, <laughs> let's get real. Um, I just try to make pretty things. The culture for me is, it's just vast acceptance, a place where you can go to be yourself and just dress up in costume and be silly and be funny and not be judged, you know, for being weird. Cause you know, to anybody else, I think we'd be, we'd be considered weirdos, right? You're going out in public, you're putting yourself out there, and depending on the costume, people don't even know it's you. A lot of times I post something online, they know it's going. Like, oh, that was you? Like, yeah, that was me. Oh, cool. Cosplay in itself can be an escape from reality. I've actually seen a lot of people in my community that are really soft-spoken, and then they put on that costume and suddenly they're outgoing and they're having fun, and it's just, it's really amazing just to see them, like, come alive through this character. There is no single way to do it. You can do it your own way, you can interpret things however you wish. The audience of people who like craftsmanship and like how I will go up to like 600 grit on sandpaper and then airbrush it and then do a pearlized layer and then do a clear coat that's glossy to get this particular effect on this particular part of the prop. Um, that subset of people is vastly smaller than the number of people who just like looking at pretty women. My message for cosplayers in general is follow your heart and really ask yourself why you're doing this. If it's for the craftsmanship, focus on the craftsmanship. Don't sweat the uh, viewership, don't sweat the social media. I want to encourage everybody just go out there like buy a costume from like you know if you, if you don't on a budget just it is your first costume just go to Party City like nobody's going to care. Like, just have fun. Like, you have to remember that above all else, even though for some people this is a professional thing, this is a hobby and it should be treated as such. It's the most liberating feeling ever to have people come up to you and ask you for your photo and to want to take pictures with you. It's bringing these characters that you would never have seen or met before into the physical world that you can interact with. When people immerse themselves into a character that they genuinely have a passion for, they actually become that character. You might look a little, like, feel like you look a little weird. People will support you. They, they want you to succeed. Why be yourself when you can be Batman? Ha <laughs>